Why do we need to know about least common multiples, or LCM? We need to know about this skill because we use it when we add and subtract fractions. So, for example, if I wanted to add 1 fifth plus 1 fourth, we can't add these fractions right now because the denominators are different. Least common multiples help us find a common denominator that we can change these fractions to so that we can add them. So, if I skip count by 5, that would be the multiples of 5. That will be 5, 10, 15, 20, so on. If I skip count by 4, that will be 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, and we see that the first number that's the same is 20. So if I change these two fractions so that they both have the same denominator of 20, I will be able to add them. So 5 times 4 is 20. If I do it to the bottom, I do it to the top, so that's going to also change to a 4. 4 times 5 makes 20. It means i got to multiply this by a 5. That means that this is a 5. So when I add these two fractions, the answer is going to be 9 out of 20. That's why we need to know about least common multiples. So let's practice that. Well, one of the big things that students struggle with is remembering the difference between factors and multiples. And there's a few different ways of memorizing it. But usually I remember that factors are the numbers that go into that number. So if I'm working with the number 14, the factors of 14 are going to be numbers that multiply to make 14. They're the multiplication facts for 14. So we got 1 times 14 and 2 times 7. Multiples, on the other hand, are skip counting, or multiples of that number, that number multiple times. We're skip counting. So the multiples of 14 are 14, two 14s would be 28, three 14s would be 42, four of them would be 56, and so on. So let's try one out. What is the least common multiple of 6 and 4? We're trying to find a number that both 6 and 4 can skip, skip count to and reach. So I'm skip counting for 6. That's going to be 6, 12, 18, 24, and so on. Skip count for 4, that's going to be 4, 8, 12, 16, and I don't even need to go further because I already see it in the list. The number that's the same for both is 12. That's the smallest or least multiple that they both have in common. How about one more, a little bit harder? Again, one way to do it, skip count. Skip count by 12, so that's going to be 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, 72, and on and on. Skip count by 60, well, the first one right off the bat is 60. I don't even need to go any further. That is the first multiple that they share. So the least common multiple of 12 and 60 is 60.